Hello everyone, it's April 22nd. I remember to do this early today. Um, I actually, I have a meeting in about 45 minutes. So let's see how much we can do. Well, definitely first thing we're gonna do the challenge today, which is a hash map. Well, yesterday was a hash set, and today is a hash map. So we're gonna use the same technique <laughs> for that, because uh, let's, let's, no, let's, do it. let's just make it easy. And then we have the another medium problem from the bi-weekly contest from last week. It's it's a design in ATM, which is actually quite interesting. I want I want to see how that one goes. All right, so design a hash set. Oh, this is a, a hash map. This is an old problem. Okay. So design without using a built-in. Okay, uh, object with empty put get and then remove so yeah so it's the same thing well let's pass it first just want to see how it goes they say do not use built-in i want to use built-in how about that so self dot hash map equals to a dictionary let's be more specific it's a, it's a, be a dictionary so put it is for fun Oh, what if it doesn't exist? Contain no mapping for the key. Okay, so return self dot hash map dot get key minus one. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, what do we remove? Call what remove what is remove Dell wait what if it doesn't exist I right, hold on I'm going to do this first that was yesterday What if I have a dictionary and I say del a I don't know. Oh, it says key error. So let's just say if key in self hash map del hash map self dot key. Yeah, that should be right. So let's just submit first. So I think the easiest way to go for it um, is using the same hash set idea. We're just going to modulo it. And then instead of pushing a single value into the, link, uh, into the list of lists, we're going to push in a tuple. Right, I'm gonna push in a tuple. Can we push in a tuple? Yeah, I mean the question is why not? Right? We can. We can definitely push in a tuple. We simply just say mm, how do you check? Hold on. I actually never tried it before. Let's say a equals this, right? Let's say a dot append. I don't know. Um, let's say one, two. Right, a dot append. Uh, three, four. How about that? And then we check one, two in a. Oh, okay, it works. All right, let's just go with this route. So it's it's exactly the same as yesterday, but just with a little twist. A slight twist. Slight twist. So 
So we're going to say hash map is going to be a this, this, or this in range. I, I, I said uh, self.m, 1000, and do 1000 again. All right? So put, so first I'm going to check. All right? So I'm going to say hash key equals key mod self.m, right? And then and then what do we say? We say oh hold on. That's not just a tuple because I want to change the value. You can update the value. So oh it's slightly different. Hmm, that's a good question. It's slightly different. I'll have to loop it. Oh man, ah man, I don't want to loop it. <laughs> I don't want to loop it. Well, but I guess there's no other way, right? Ain't, 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 there's no other way, I have to loop it. I have to loop it to locate the position because I don't know the value. Well, technically speaking, I do know the value. I can call get. I can call get to get its value. So get will be the one that's actually looping it. So we get to get its value. And then call index again. And that just sounds stupid. You have to do it two times. So let's just loop it. All right? For key value in self dot hash map hk. Right? A we say if k is equal to key, then we say, ooh, hold on, that's actually not right. We are going to push in, hold on, no, this is not what we want. Uh, what we want is, let's call it it, item. And we say item zero is equal to k, then item one is equal to value, and we break, right? And we're done. Well, actually, not break. We just return. We're done. Otherwise, if we search in, we don't have a key, and we jump out. Then we just say self dot hash map hk dot append, and the new key and value there like that. All right, get. So same thing, we're going to first obtain the hash key and then for it in self dot hash map hk, if it zero is equal to key, then we return it one. Otherwise, we return minus one. Remove. Remove, remove what we can do is, again, this one has to be happening every single time, self.m, right? And then what? Okay, simply say if self.get, oh, and call val equals self.get key. Right? So we obtain a key, no, we obtain a value, and then we simply, okay, that actually is something I do not know. One, two, three, four. How about this? A dot remove. One, two. Oh, it works. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So, so if val is larger or equal to zero, then, okay, let's see the value. Yep, then we say self dot hash path hk dot remove key val. Otherwise, we don't do anything. All right, so this is a handwritten. Let's see. Try this. Seems to be working. Ah, uh, did we try? Yeah, let's try this. Oh, uh, okay. Not too bad. I think what we can say is this is exactly the same, right? This is, uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna use this one. Seven oh six, right? Exactly the same method as designing a hash set. Okay, check our solution in the past. So this is a solution in the past. I'm pretty sure one of these are the lazy ones. But in a problem like this, I don't have the Ghana to, you know, to go deep. Like yesterday I didn't go deep. Because again, hash can go very, very deep. I think what's the point, right? What's the point of going too deep into this? Uh, look at that. I actually, uh, I create a list, uh, a linked list. Oh, I had a, I had a lot of free time back then, huh? Linked list. Jeez, man. Why'd you want to do that? Empty. Find target. I record empty. Hmm. Yeah, so I was trying to be fancy back then. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I just call it. All right, so we have time. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. People hate it. Absolutely do not like this problem. All right, what's the deal? There is an ATM. Bad notes of five denominations. 20, 50, 100, 200, 500. It's empty initially. User can use the machine to deposit or withdraw any amount of money. When withdrawing, the machine prior, pr prioritizes using banknotes of larger values. For example, if you want to withdraw 300, there are two 50 notes and one 100 note and one 200 banknote. And the machine will use one 100 200 banknotes. So, which means we will always try the bigger value first. So we try the 200 first. We have 100 left. Then we try the 100. However, we try to withdraw 600. Well, I would like to have 500 and a 100, but we don't have 100. So the only thing we can do is three 200 nodes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> That's a stupid ATM machine. It says. If you try to withdraw 600 and there are three 200 banknotes and one 100 ba a 500 banknote, the withdrawal request will be rejected. 
because the machine will first try the 500 and then be unable to use the banknotes to complete the remaining 100. The machine is not allowed to use 200 banknotes instead of the 500 banknotes. That probably is why people rejected this problem. This is so stupid. Like, why? Why do you design a problem like that? Anyway, so we initialized ATM, deposit it, okay, and withdraw returns an array of length 5 of the number of banknotes and update the banknotes in the ATM, return uh, uh, if it's not possible. Okay, so deposit. So deposit is one, wait, okay, hold on. So it would be, wait, 2050, right? 2050, 2050, 100, 200, and 500. And one, okay. And withdraw, I have 500, 100, okay. Yes, and then deposit again, yes, and withdraw. Try to use the 500, and then enable to complete. Man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it this way. Otherwise, it's just too hard to read. Will be rejected. So, what do we return? To minus one. Oh Lord, this is. All right, I see. I see why people don't like it. If I, I don't see any trick, that's the thing. I don't see any trick. This. This could be labeled as easy if if there's no trick. Like I don't see any trick at the moment. Like what 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 is a trick here? You just follow whatever it's being said. You know, like do they do they know that the question is weak when they put it out? Especially in a contest, man. Or just a competition of who who complained the least when doing this. All right, so let's let's not do this. Let's just uh, figure out a good way to handle this. <sighs> well, we can use a dictionary, and then the return with just a value, li the list of version of value. And Python dictionary they pres uh, they preserves the order of input, so it will be fine. So we can use a dictionary. That means we can say self dot um, cash. Very unimaginative. So we have twenty. Oh no, yeah, twenty. Uh, what fifty? One hundred. What two hundred? Right? Twenty fifty one hundred two hundred. And 500. Right, that's the one, two, three, four, five. And a posit. Right. Oh, why do you do that? Exactly. Why do you do that? No. I'd rather do this and self dot mapping. This is where we we go. So we say twenty will map to zero. Uh, fifty will map to one. Index that's one hundred map to two, two hundred map to three, and five hundred map to four. So we simply say, uh, can I just add them directly? I guess not. I mean, if you use numpy, yeah. For beam banknotes, self dot cash, I plus equal b. Okay, so this is a i b. We need to enumerate. Okay, so withdraw. All right, withdraw. So we have to go the largest. Okay. What if, do I have to use up the largest first? Okay, let me read the requirements again. I think it is. They have to use up, 
the largest first, right? Prioritize using banknotes with larger values. So if I have, if I can use a larger once and then use a smaller one, compared to user, yeah, yeah, that should be. So we should use as many large as possible, right? So what do we do? We go from right to left, right, right to left, and then every time we hit one that's not zero, we try to remove as much as we can. So we can do that. We can divide, right? No, not divide. We we just do because we have to use it all. Like this is the requirement. We have to use it all, right? And then after we use it all, we see if. Uh, if it, if it's uh, yeah, we shouldn't say use it all. We we should do do the division, right? We do we do a division. So a div mod, okay, a div mod, and then if the quotient is bigger than the amount that we have, or the quotient is equal to the number of nodes we have, right? If it's equal. Then uh, I can deduct that meant that much from it. That's what we want. If the quotient is a smaller, hold on, hold on. If the quotient is bigger or equal to, if the quotient is bigger or equal to the number of nodes we have for that money. We simply deleted all of the all of that notes and we check the remainder and we, we check whatever and then go to the next round. Okay? If the quotient is smaller then we well, it's smaller is also fine. So should be if it's smaller, or let's say smaller equal to, right? So we take that amount out and then we check, right? And when we check, then then what? So when we get out and we check, then we don't move forward because we still have more. And then now we go, now the quotient becomes zero, right? It becomes zero. Well, how, how should the process be? Let me think again. Let me think again. So I have this amount. We try to get as many of this bank notes as possible. Mm -hmm. If I have more left, that's perfect. If we have the same number, that's also perfect. And then we can go to the next round. And the next round, what we want is after we handled it, right? After we handled it. Like we remove, after we remove, right? The ideal is have to remove that much of this. If there's still some left, then we go to the next round. Right? We have to remove all of the uh, higher note, now we go to the next one. But if after remove, there's still something left on a higher one, but we have something more in the money left. That means we are already going to move as many of the higher nodes as possible, but we still have higher nodes and we have a remainder and that would become impossible. So in that case, I don't even think we need a map, honestly. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, right, I'm going to say, for B in 500, mm. we have to 
also coordinate with a cache. How gonna do that? Ah, easy. Look at this. Uh, three, four, five hundred. <laughs> Three, two hundred. All right. Two, one hundred. One, fifty, and zero, twenty. That's it. So in this case, this mapping is also not necessary. All right. So we have that. Then we say quotient and remainder or equal to amount div mod div mod uh, amount with b oh hold on if self dot cash i right it has to be larger than zero then we do this if not we'll just move on to the next one hmm Probably need to have a result equal to zero times five, right? So if this, then we get this, right? And then we say if Q is larger or equal to uh, self dot cash i so we can we can take all of those out right we can take all of those out if that's the case then we will uh, i see the little complexity there so if the quotient is larger than that then i can remove everything right then we say rest i plus equal to self dot cash i all right and then self dot cash i equal to zero we set it back to zero oh do we set it back to zero right now oh we still have we we, we always have to do it like one way or another all right, so we set it to zero, and then what? And then what I'm gonna do is send the remove from cash from amount. It's an amount minus equal to b times. Oh, how we do it first? Self dot cash i, right? And then self dot cash so it's a zero. That's it. Right? That's what we do. Then we go to the next one. Okay, so we'll go to the next one. Yeah, if Q is larger than, then we can always remove else, right? If the Q is smaller than. Well, Q is smaller than, right? Which means we, need, we don't need to take as many. So when Q is smaller than, we need to check LF r is equal to zero right that means we can remove just that amount like perfect right just a perfect amount so so q is smaller than cash i but r is equal to zero right r is equal to zero then we say rest i plus equal to q right Amount minus equal to Q times self dot cash I and self dot cash I minus equal to Q, right? And that's it. R is zero. We have completely removed. So here I can just return rest. It's done. It's done, we don't have to keep going. Now, if r is not equal to zero, right, and it's smaller, 
So Q is smaller. Uh, Q is smaller than the number of I can take, right? Which means I shall be able to take all of but but um, R is not equal to zero, which means I cannot use this. So if else, mm. that will break, which means there's no point in keep going on. So if we're breaking out, we are going to put everything back into self.cache. So we say for I in rest, ooh, I are in enumerate. We have to restore the value. See self.cache, self.cache, I plus equal to R. And then we return minus one. All right, let's try this stupid ATM. Well, actually, when I say this stupid, I think the whole reason is to make the problem a bit easier to, to deal with. Otherwise, you have another problem how to find the banknotes to fulfill the requirement. What is this? Enumerate. Did I misspell? No, I misspelled right on the other one. Ooh, that was terrible. What the hell? The first withdrawal was wrong. Hold up. That is not right. Let's print it out. Self.cache. Let's kind of see if, um, if it's correct. Mm-hmm. We draw six hundred, right? So some of the cash four. Right, cash four is one, yes. Amount is uh, say from this whole Q should be one and R should be 100 and then one larger or equal to self dot cash, yes. So this shall plus equal to cash I, yes. Amount minus B is 500 times cash I, so amount will be 100. And self dot cash i, we go to zero. That's fine, right? And then we go to the next round, which we go to two hundred. Uh huh. Two hundred. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Returns one zero one. Wait, no, 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 one, one. Yeah, yeah, literally just, how do you return one, zero, one? You said you want to prioritize big nodes. Now you have 100, two, 200, and one, 500, and you withdraw 600. The machine uses one 100 node and one 500 node. Oh, oh, wait. 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 They are not prioritizing. What are you doing? If you try to withdraw 600, there are three 200 banknotes and one 500 banknote. Then the withdrawal request will be rejected because the machine will first try to use 500 and then be unable to use banknotes to complete the remaining 100. The machines are not allowed to use 200 banknotes instead of... 
Um. So what the hell is the rule here? Wait, what the hell is the rule? So you can use the five hundred, and then you are allowed to skip two hundred. Um, prioritize using banknotes as large as valid, but you are not prioritizing, right? You're using the 500 or 100. I mean, you're supposed to prioritize using the 500, using the 200. Okay. Now we need to guess. Now we need to guess what it wants. Like, what the hell? Hey, what am I supposed to do? So, what if I have... Alright, let's... Now we have to poke it. Alright, this is a terrible problem. We have to poke it. So, instead of... Like, let's see, how, how, how do we poke it? How do we poke it? So are, are we saying if we have 500, we need to use 500, right? If we don't have 500, how shall I poke it? It says 500. I don't know, man. <laughs> How do I poke it? So 600 coming in, and I have a 500, so we have to use 500, okay? But I have to use 500 if I don't have 100. If I don't have 100, and then <sighs> let's ignore the rest, right? Let's ignore the rest. Let's just focus on this thing. If I have 1500 to 200, that shall return minus 1. They say, okay, I cannot, I cannot do that. Um, if I don't have this, and I have two 200, so we have 400, all right? And I have 200 left. And I have 200 left. If I have... So we take as many as I can on the big one. I take as many as I can on the big one. And the remaining, if the big one, oh, I think the logic is I take as much, as many as I can from the largest one, right? And after that, I can skip. Dude, dude, that ain't the that ain't the rule. Yeah, so after the five hundred, I have one hundred left, and then the next one is um, two hundred, and two hundred the Q will be zero, right? That will be uh, smaller, right? Smaller, and since it's smaller, then I just skip. All right, but if I can, I will definitely take it. Okay, so I think the rule now, oh, it's it's changing. It's it is changing. So it means, okay, definitely, and then we say if I mean QR, and if Q is larger than equal to, definitely we do it. Uh, if Q is equal to, then we and else we keep going. If Q is smaller. Which means I wait. Hold on. If Q is smaller, right? If Q is smaller, if Q is smaller than the number of the cash, and R is not equal to zero, I shall still be able to take Q amount. I shall still take Q amount. Mind you, I shall still take Q amount, and after that, I will.
just keep going. So instead of doing this, I just say else, all right? Else, we just take Q amount, right? We just take Q amount and then blah, 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 right? And at the end, um, at the end we say if, not amount, which means all the money has been gone, then we just return res. Otherwise, we do this. Okay, let's try this one. So I think this is what it means. Man, I need a guess. Let's try this one. Yep. I think this is the right one. Uh-oh. Oh, God. How did I return to minus one? Yeah, that was my, that, that's a problem. So I have three 200 nodes, right? And a 500 divided by 200 shall return to two. I shall get two. And then, so there should be 100 left. And and then go up. Hold on, how is this one not right? Now, I think I got the idea, but but it is not making it correct. Cash I and do this. And if not cash out, just keep going, all right? And then QR goes to this. Q is larger or equal to cash I. It's not. Q is. Q is. Uh, oh, I'm not taking all of it. I'm not taking all of it. So 500 divided by 200 is 2, right? So Q is not larger than equal to. So I just plus equal to 2. Amount. Cash I is this, which is fine, right? So we go to the next one, which is 100, I have nothing. And the next one, go to 50. And 50, Q is 2, right? And then we do this, and we'll show this one Q times. Oh, it's now Q times cash I. It's Q times B. That was my fault. That was my fault. Uh, that was my fault. Oh, that was my fault. It's Q times B. Oh, I, I guess it means there is an easier way. Well, that's a times B. Yep, uh, I don't like the wording. The wording of the problem, yeah. The wording definitely can be better. And it's, it's, it's quite a silly problem. So we simply, uh, I don't have much time. We simply, simply do that. We simply try the banknotes, right, from the highest uh, denomination to the lowest, right, and take as many high notes as possible uh, until we examine all banknotes if the amount uh, turns to zero we have succeeded in the withdrawal right otherwise 
Otherwise, the withdrawal shall be rejected. I mean, based on this, it means there got to be some easier solution. So, but I don't have time to examine that. Uh, I'll probably take a look later today. But anyway, I have to go. All right, that will be it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Adios.